sharing their heartbreak. We miss him, and we're not doing good. But also their hope. Tate was passionate about it, so we want to we want to carry out his passion, right? And we want to let his legacy live forever. The family of Oxford shooting victim Tate Meir reveal how they want to reach children like the boy locked up for their son's murder. If this kid is mentoring somebody, is getting mentored and mentoring somebody and has a purpose, November 30th doesn't happen. Really emotional moments today as two families suffering after the Oxford tragedy come forward to speak for the first time. They are part of a new civil lawsuit that claims multiple people could have prevented the shooting, including several Oxford High School employees. The Mir family revealed plans to start a foundation, meanwhile, in Tate's honor. We also learned today the accused in the case, Ethan Crumbly, is planning an insanity defense. More on that in a few moments. Let's start, though, with defender Sean Lay with more on the families who spoke today and what they're hoping to accomplish here. Sean. Devin, good evening from the Southfield West, and this is where this new lawsuit was being announced. And attorney Ben Johnson breaking down why two teachers at Oxford High, two counselors, and the dean of Oxford High are being named in the suit. And you touched on this. The family of Tate Mir speaking here today for the very first time, hoping something positive can possibly come out of this by a foundation being formed called 42 Strong. The level of suspicion went from highly suspicious to off the charts knowing something's wrong here. Attorney Ben Johnson says two unnamed Oxford High School teachers, school counselors Pam Parker Fine and Sean Hopkins and Dean Nicholas Ejak violated state law by not reporting disturbing behavior and violent drawings from Ethan Crumley leading up to the November 30th school shooting. That is a violation of the Child Protective Act. Johnson is representing three Oxford families in a civil suit that the father of Tate Mears says is all about holding the school employees and Crumley's parents accountable. And it would be a dishonor to Tate if we didn't do this. Mere hopes what also comes out of this tragedy is what his family has started. The 42 Strong Foundation, 42 Tate's football number. He says his son loved to mentor. The foundation will mentor kids, not ignore them. Unfortunately, this shooter was raising his hand. People refuse to, to see that, right? But if we can reach kids like this shooter and have somebody mentor him, build his self-confidence and his self-esteem, give him an opportunity to mentor, we feel good when we help people, right? Chad Gregory has also joined the suit on behalf of his son, Keegan, who is traumatized by watching Justin Schilling be gunned down right in front of him. His hope for his son. And I hope Keegan's a mentor in 42 Strong. And I hope he does turn this around and he shares his experience. And we're going to do everything we can to provide him the tools and the resources and the support to do that. Incredibly emotional day as this new lawsuit is announced. We reached out to Oxford schools and their attorney have not yet heard back from them for any reaction about this new lawsuit. You heard Tate Mears father say his family part of the suit important to the family to stick to the family values about accountability. He says not doing so. You heard him say that would dishonor his son Tate. Devin. All right, Sean. And meanwhile, as I mentioned, we're learning more about how attorneys plan to defend Ethan Crumbly in court. A one sentence court filing shows that he will plead insanity. Now that now opens the door for Crumbly to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. It'll be up to the Oakland County prosecutor, Karen McDonald, to prove Crumbly was sane at the time of the shooting. She has previously said she has no reason to believe Crumbly's mental state would impact his ability to face charges. McDonald did not want to comment on that court filing today.